Today I'm feeling shady. Roll the clip. Peeps up and down my city, I don't try to come for me. What's up, losers? Welcome back to Nelly V. You. I know the last few weeks I've been running my mouth about pop culture, celebrities, drama, tea. It's only fair that I run my mouth about my own tea and drama, right? Okay, so let me just get right into the story. So if you haven't read the title already, what do I always say? Read the title before you click so you know what you get into. I'm not, I'm not gonna use names. If you can figure it out and y'all wanna be shady ladies and, and, and leave it in the comment section down below, that's none of my business. Maybe it happened. In more recent years, maybe it happened a long time ago. I, it did not been enough for me to say. Anyway, so let's just get right into the story. Okay, so once upon a time, I had a little boyfriend. So we decided to do what the couples do, the double dates, right? And before I get to the juicy part, I have to give you the backstory. The first time that I had met my boyfriend's best friend, he was dating a very lovely young lady, and we went on the double date to the movies. Now, I almost immediately get bad vibes from this gentleman but it's none of my business that was his best friend it's whatever you know what i mean that was the last time i saw that girl and um like i said let's just keep in mind that i said I, it was just bad vibes from this guy fast, fast forward, forward. The, the the best friend ended up <sighs> completely just destroying this young lady awful breakup very tacky cheated on her, all of the that's a whole other story wasn't really surprised because he because he he just gave those vibes that he was just a womanizer just he was just that guy y'all know what i'm saying fast forward my boyfriend wanted to go on another double date with this guy with the new girlfriend and i'm like um I don't know. I'm, I, you know, I'm very much a person off of vibes. It's just something off putting, right? I wanted to be a good sport. Maybe he changed. Yeah, right. So we go on a second double date with the with the best friends and the new girl. So we're, we're kicking. We're having we're having a conversation. I'm trying to get to know her, and she seems like a you know a lovely girl. Just a, you know, an, another around the way girl, just the girl next door, she's sweet or whatever, right? I asked her, you know, just, just because we're, I'm not meddling, I'm just having a casual conversation. So I asked the girl, um, so how, how did you guys meet? When did you guys meet? Conversation amongst us gals, right? She tells me when they met. Now I'm not gonna say when they met, cause I don't want nobody trying to push stuff together. She told me when they met and so, I started counting. So I'm like, and wait a wait a damn minute. I'm thinking this in my mind. I'm like, okay, when I first met this best friend and he was dating the first girl, it happened in this month. And I know they broke up at this time. Now this new girl is telling me they started talking and dating at a time uh that ain't lining up. Y'all get what I'm saying? According to the new girlfriend, they started dating, which according to my timeline, he was still with the other girl. So let me get this straight. You fully invited us on a double date with the new girl that you were cheating on the old girl with, didn't tell nobody. And then I'm supposed to sit here and pretend like I don't know that this is the side chick that you just made your new chick and I'm supposed to be okay with this. You know, we're all four sitting together. So when she's telling me this, I kind of turn and look at this nigga like, and he just sitting there looking like, oh, I hope she don't say no, I hope she, and, and I should, and I should, I should have been messy. I should have said something, but it wasn't, none, it wasn't none of my business because you know what, on the other hand, maybe she knew she was the other girl. Maybe she was a homewrecker. Maybe she knew she broke up, broke up a happy home. I, I don't know it wasn't none of my business so i swallowed it and i went on but that confirmed for real for real that, like he, he just he just ain't shit y'all know what i'm saying after finding that out and not really knowing if that girl did she know she was the other woman was she completely oblivious i don't know then to make matters worse this is just a side note y'all the best friend and the original girl were supposed to go on a cute little romantic cruise don't you know this nigga took the new girl on the cruise? I'm thinking, baby, did you know that cruise was meant for somebody else? Whatever, that has nothing to do with our story. So let's keep going, let's get to the juicy part. 
You know what? That says a lot about his character that it at least put somebody on. Because what if I was the type of person to be like, oh, well, he was dating so-and-so at this time. You just assume that I wasn't messy. If you're going to drag somebody in your life, y'all get, get what I'm saying. So moving on. A few weeks passed and my boyfriend asked me again to go on a double date with these people. I said, you got to be kidding me no i am not sir i'm not going on another double date with these people to be a part of this bet reality show i, I no no are you kidding are you kidding me i didn't want any parts of it because it was just very shady and i don't want that bad juju around me anyways needless to say i ex accepted the invitation once again i was like you know what that's their business has nothing to do with me i'll go on the little double date and that'll just be that so we're out on this little double date or whatever and you know everybody's kiki and we go to a cute little mexican restaurant you know what i'm saying so that the chips and salsa flowing you know it's all cool my boyfriend is a lightweight so he was already feeling very good with the, with the kool-aid that he was having you know what I mean? That's kind of an important part to the to to the story later on. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty good. He didn't check that a bit. So you know, we're we're having conversation, and then all of a sudden, the best friend kind of makes it makes makes us a, a comment. I will not say exactly what he said, um, but it was something about my appearance that, um. Is not is not something that you would say to your best friend's uh, girlfriend, and it's certainly not something you would say in front of your own girlfriend. You know, leave in the comment section down below what you what you think he said. You know what I mean? I I was like, you know what? May, maybe I misinterpreted. Maybe I miss. I I just let water off of a duck's back. I moved on. At this point, the girlfriend kind of gives me a look like. Because look, how you get them is how you lose them. You know? <laughs> yeah. Anyways, okay. So, no. That was the first time. We continue on talking. And he made a comment a second time. Then a third time. By the third time, it was no denying that this man was making a pass at me. At me. At me. In front of his woman. In front of his best friend. And I'm just sitting there with my cocktail like, what the f is going on in here on this day? You know, and, and I, 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 and I know y'all like, well, why didn't your boyfriend say anything? Did you hear me say he was feeling good? I was, and I don't know if his best friend knew that he wasn't really present or the best friend didn't care. I don't know if the best friend could handle his liquor. Clearly couldn't handle his liquor. But what was so wild at this point, I've noticed it. She for sure knows it. And, and at this point, she, she's looking at me like, I'm about to beat this bitch up. Like, for being pretty? For, because he's talking to me, you want to fight oh i'm just kidding <laughs> you know I, I was like baby check your man i'm 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 sitting here being me i'm sitting here i'm sitting here being me i'm eating my little mexican meal at this point the tension was so um thick it was very uncomfortable all i could do at this point was attempt to watch the game that was you know playing in the background and every time i look in that general direction i can feel her eyeballs staring daggers into my being like if looks could kill i um i obviously didn't address the situation because what do, what do you what do you I, I was completely blown away i had never had somebody just blatantly of course i mentioned it to my boyfriend and um you know i got a bunch of are you sure maybe you misunderstood and, and my response was why do you think that girl acts as though she wants nothing to do with me anymore we were kiki we hit it off we were judy's what, what what do you what do you think you know what i'm saying anyway i hope that he has matured and does not do little skis ball things like that let me know if y'all have ever been in a situation like that let me know what you would have done if you were in that situation because i I was just like I, I I didn't know what to do and I I I 
Anyways, wild times. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and click the big red subscribe button. Give this video a big fat thick thumbs up. Click the post notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. I will see you, you little shady ladies, in the next video. Bye. Love you so much.